time now for your money with Marty. And the number of available jobs in the U.S. actually dropped in May after it had that uptick the month before. That's the latest information that we have from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. So taking a look at the actual numbers, job openings fell to 9.82 million at the end of May, dropping from what was upwardly revised 10.3 million in April. So we want to really break down what this JOLTS report, as it's called, Job Openings and Labor Turnover Report Survey shows. So Marty Cantor, talk us through what really stood out to you. Well, the big thing that stands out for me is that the jobs that were cut or the reduction in the available jobs were in the private sector. Right. So that's 602,000 jobs were taken off the market. And the, the offset was there was 102,000 jobs created by government. Yes. And that's what caused, that's what's causing this big inflationary problem we have. And that's what, what's making it struggle to get out of inflation is that the government keeps on spending money and creating jobs when it shouldn't be. Uh, and, and that's the problem that the Federal Reserve is having when it meets in July uh, with a most uh, this month rather we're most likely will in increase interest rates because the government has to stop spending money and, and, and that's what's causing the problem. All right, let's look specific into the job market. Openings were 40% higher, layoffs were 21% fewer, and quits were at 15% above February of 2020. So obviously we're not looking at the Great Recession, um, not the Great Recession, the uh, Great Resignation, but we are still seeing people quitting. Well, yeah, but remember what the economy looked like in February 2020. The gross domestic product was growing at 2% non-inflationary growth and inflation itself is 1.4%. So the economy was, was operating in a capitalistic way. Mm -hmm. Right now, our inflation is 5%, uh, and, and the debt is 33%, and, and the GDP is 26%. So we have, we have uh, our economy is fueled by debt and government spending, whereas before, in February uh, 2020, it was, it was our normal system, uh, economic system, operating very positively. So we have two different economic systems operating right now. One, where it should be, where private sector is creating jobs and creating profits, and today, where the government is getting very involved in how the economy is being fueled. Well, I just wonder, like, ZipRecruiter broke it down, like, in terms of, you know, how many million. Yeah. So the quits were popping back up above four million. That's the first time since December. So I'm wondering, are people leaving their job because they're not getting the raises that keep up with inflation? So if I go somewhere else that's willing to pay me more money, is that why people are leaving? Absolutely. Okay. Because remember, wages have gone up maybe three to four percent. Mm -hmm. Inflation is still hovering around five percent. So people are looking for uh, better job opportunities. And remember, the new jobs, the quits and the new jobs, pretty much equal the pullback on the posted jobs, that 468,000 right. reduction in posted jobs that employees are, 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 are taken off the market. I can't wait to hear your answer to this one. So is this really the soft landing? Because we're not seeing this big crash to the job market, but we're kind of, you know, just seeing like subtle changes? We are nowhere near <laughs> even saying a soft landing okay. or a hard landing because inflation is still up near 5%, 5 yeah. and the Fed wants it to get down to 2%. To yeah. so, so we have to get really much closer to that 2% to really, and also to see the impact on unemployment uh, with the, with the uh, Federal Reserve pulling out nearly a trillion dollars over the past year. Uh, and also remember now, the big thing is that corporate profits have gone down the last three quarters. Uh, and it's expected to drop to by, uh, by 6.4% the second quarter of this year, where it dropped by 1.3% the first quarter. So if profits drop in, in uh, the capitalistic sector, in private sector, jobs have to follow. And if jobs follow in terms of being uh, reduced, then we can talk about what kind of landing we're going to have. If unemployment goes up, job losses go up, uh, it might be a bumpier uh, landing rather than a soft landing. Okay, so now here's your crystal ball. We know the central bank did those, you know, 10 consecutive um, rate hikes followed by the pause. What's next? Oh, they're going to increase it. The next time, e easily a quarter of a point okay. uh, in July, the next meeting. Uh, they're already talking about, if they're talking about two raises between now and the end of the year, they're going to do more. Okay. Uh, because this is a stubborn inflation, uh, the rate's not going down, and unemployment's not going down. Uh, there's got to be a, a, a more of a negative impact to the economy to really defeat inflation. It's just not happening. All right. Thank you so much, Marty Cantor. A pleasure as always. All right.